Good evening, Francisco. Thank you for being on time. Let me know if you're going to be just listening or how are you doing with your issue with the internet? Are you going to be just listening today? I guess so. In the meantime, I'm going to... Um, uh, okay, Alexis is working too. All right, I'm going to start sharing a screen in the meantime, so. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Martia. How are you today? I'm great, and I'm ready. Ready great today. Company. That's nice. Yeah. How's it going? I'm doing really good. Uh, How was the traffic? Oh, the traffic was uh, was not complicated for me because I left home early. So I think that maybe that's why. And in the afternoon, I think it was okay. It's not, um, I haven't arrived home yet. All right. Yeah, I'm leaving at 10. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm in Santa Tecla. Ah. But then I have okay. to commute to lower this. <laughs> I think that yeah, I, 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 have to drive. I have to drive for and los chorros every day. Oh, are you at home morning? already? Yeah, in the morning and the afternoon. Mm. What time do you leave home in the morning? Um, 4.45 a.m. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that the uh, that is the best time to leave home, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yes. And um, now you're home, right? You're at home. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I'm home. Thick. Yes. Was the traffic heavy or not too heavy? No, not much. Not much heavy. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for uh, letting us know how was your day. And I see that Alexis has raised hand. How are you, Alexis? Long time no see you here. <laughs> Alexis? Alexis, you are mute. Hello, coach. Yes, I, I am working right now. Uh, I can listen. Okay, but you're going to be listening. That's nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you for being connected. And listening, um, remember that your attendance is really important in order to get the minimum expected. So thank you so much for being here, Alexis, Magdiel. I have Victor, Francisco, Hazel, Julissa, Mario, Carlos, and Christina. Welcome to today's class. As you remember, last Friday, 
we um, we work on a vocabulary exercise. Um, we work on a vocabulary exercise. We were working on the verbs and nouns, verbs and nouns. Now we're going to use the vocabulary for this exercise. I think it's going to be pretty easy for you. We need to choose the correct word or phrases to complete the sentences that we have here. We continue with the passive voice. Um, I think it's not now it is an easy topic for you. I know I know it. you're doing a good job with this topic. Now let's read the sentence number one, which is already done for us as an example. Green organizations are trying to save the rainforests that have been threatened by developers and farmers. The options that we have uh, in this exercise is created, rain, and threaten. The word that best completed that sentence, it was threaten. Let us read the number two. Uh, one way to inform the public about factories that pollute the environment is through programs on TV, agricultural, educational, or industrial. What do you think? I'll give you time for you to analyze and then you know. educational. educational. Mm -hmm. Yes, can be about uh, through educational programs. Excellent, Maria. Now, number three. In many countries of the world, threatened animals and plant species are being created, protected. polluted, or protected by strict laws. Protected by strict Protected, excellent, Mario. Yes, the correct word here is protected. Number four, agricultural pesticides are damaging, eating up, or lowering soil in many countries. Damaging. Damaging, yes, excellent. That is the proper word to complete this sentence. Number five, pollution, poverty, or waste is an enormous problem in many large cities where whole families can only afford to live in one room. Pollution. Mm. Poverty. poverty. Excellent, yes, poverty. Poverty is an enormous problem in many large cities where whole families can only afford to live in one room. Yes. That's sad, but it's the world that we live in. Excellent job, Mario, with this one. Thank you so much. Now we have this reading exercise. Uh, reading is important for us to develop vocabulary, reading comprehension. And we have this uh, reading, its topic is, it's in the cards. I volunteer to start reading the first paragraph. Nowadays, and we can finish off plastic. Martial and then Mario, thank you so much. You can start, Martial. Nowadays. Okay, sure. Nowadays, many people pay for things with credit card. Six billion cars are produced worldwide and annually, and the number is increasing year by year. Bill and coins, bill and coins are gradually being replaced by plastic money. Banks are issuing debit cards and chart cards are, are being offered by many types 
of stores and businesses. <clears throat> People are now using plastic car in supermarkets, at gas station, and for public transportation in many countries around the world. In addition, cars that used to be made of paper are being replaced by plastic ones. For example, many gyms membership cars are now made of plastic. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Martiel. Mario? Okay. Me, oh, oh. How safe is the plastic uses to make cars? Most cars are made from plastic colored polyvinyl chloride, PVC. PVC, while PVCs being produced, harmful chemicals are released into atmosphere. One of the most dangerous chemical releases is dioxin, is dioxin which is the now cause cancer in humans. Another problem is that PVC cars are not biodegradable. In other words, in other words, when they are thrown away, they do not break down and cannot be recycled. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mario. Cristina? Okay, teacher. So we is PVC still searching for bean, 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 still bean. bean. No se pronuncia la e. Okay. So why is PVC still bean? You said to make credit cards over recent years, over recent years, over recent years research. Come. Over. On over recent recent years over recent years okay. over recent years years research has been done to try to find find to find suffer and biodegradable materials to produce plastic money however no, no, or the alternatives currently available is sustainable, 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 and all on Oxburn, Austin are very expensive, expensive. For instance, paper cars are more eco friendly, friendly to produce. Produce. To produce? To produce? Sí. Sin. Tan. O sin o tan. Tan PVC. Arriba continúa el párrafo en la otra parte. Tan PVC because the, they can be recycled. Recycled. Recycle. 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 The problem is that they often do not lack. Do not lack. Until their expiration dates, when they get wet, they biodegrada, biodegrade, dice nada más. They biodegrade. Biodegrade. Bio. Biodegrade. Bio Ahí sí no se pronuncia biodegrada, así como biodegradable, sino que ya, ya, ya tiene otra forma. Ah, es biodegrade immediately. Biodegrade immediately. 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 Sin pronunciar la E. Immediately. Immediately. Okay. Ah, suena como in immediately. Paper cards, eh, therefore, uh, have to be replaced frequently, which is expensive. 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 Research has been done with cards, made of wood. Made of wood, good it. Wood. Difficult. Wood. Of wood, good it. Difficult to make, uh, to make wood work flexible. Flexible. And unbreakable. Un, esa palabra, teacher. Unbreakable. Breakable. Unbreakable. Unbreakable. Okay. Some people have to have metal 
book other side it's dangerous dangerous to book metal objects into electronic equipment uh -huh. metal objects metal objects metal objects okay Cristina, a volunteer to read the last paragraph. Termino ahí, verdad? Thank you, Cristina. Thank you so much. Thank you. A volunteer to continue reading the last part. A volunteer. Okay, no more volunteers for the last part. Okay, good, Cristina. Thank you. Uh, recently, a uh, polytactic, poly, polylactic, eh, Recently, a uh, polylactic, así se pronuncia polylactic. Así polylactic acid, PLA. Recently, a uh, polylactic acid, pri, pri, ¿cómo? Pila, no se pronuncia. PLA. PLA, eh, como que estuviera deletreando. Eh. Ok. Como okay. spelling, P. Ok. L A. Uh -huh. Como las letras del alfabeto. Pil L A. Ok. Uh -huh. Presently, a uh, polylactic acid P L A. Has uh -huh. been suggest suggested. Como ye. Suggested. 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 As a, mat as a material for credit card. X uh, A B O B. Polymer made from cork into oh, yeah, yeah, me two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. Three Japanese Japanese companies Mitsubishi Plastic by Nippon Printing and Sony announces announce the development development. Announce. Announce development announce development of the first credit card made from natural source approved for use B MasterCard world, worldwide or worldwide. Yes, worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, a corporation that process electronic payments or payments. 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 However, many people complain that in a world where lots of people are hungry, hungry, hungry is grown to just uh, a food from cross and turn into it into plastic. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Christina. Yeah, it's kind of sad because uh, some people is um, complaining and I, I, I would be um, supporting the last idea, right, uh, to make them uh, of uh, corn because okay. at least it's not going to pollute okay. and pollution can destroy every one of us. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Christina. Thank you. We're going to review some words. Um, let's see. Um, a Cristina siempre pide ayuda, así es que a Cristina le estuve ayudando casi que en, en lo que ella necesitó. Thank you so much, Cristina. Thank y, you, Lisa, porque así yo las practico después. Gracias. Y idea. Y de las anteriores participaciones que se agradecen mucho. Vamos a eh, repasar algunas palabras. Let's see the first one would be, uh, what is it, uh, produced, produced, produced. This is the first one, produced. Then uh, replaced, replaced, replaced. The other one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher, produce, dijo en produce, vea, produce. En Pro this one, produce, produce. produce. Ok, gracias. 
atmosphere, atmosphere, atmosphere. Here, bio, biodegradable, biodegradable. And también, ah, so, why? Why? Then PVC, like spelling, PVC. Uh, used, used, used. The other one, safer, safer, safer. Let's see, available, 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 sustainable, sustainable. Okay, next was until, until. Biodegradable and biodegrade. Let's see, I find another one here. It suggested, suggested. Mm -hmm. And let's see, recently. Re, esta suena como y recently. Eh, cuando estamos diciendo los años, en el caso este, 2009, lo voy a escribir en el chat, que sería los mil, se dicen thousand. Ahí lo escribí en el chat. En este caso que son dos mil, solo le agregamos tú al primero. Two thousand. Y luego mencionamos la otra que sería nine. Two thousand nine. O sea que los dos ceritos, este teacher, siempre serían 2000. 2009. Siempre que es, ajá, 2000 sería 2000. Luego se puede separar en dos cifras, como decir 20. Y este que lleva un 09, mencionamos el 0 como O. 2009. Así como se lo puse ahí. 2009. Ok. Ver a 2010 es más fácil porque solo dijéramos 2010. Ahí sería 209. Ajá, 2009, no, 2009, siempre 2009. 2009. Lo sí. que le explico es que hay dos formas de decir las fechas. Una es decir, eh, perdón, los años, como en esto 2009, es de decir 2009. Mm -hmm. Si fuera 2023, podemos decir 2000. Eh, five, three. Puede decir uh -huh. 20, 23. 23. Ajá, se puede separar en 20, 23, 20, 23. Pero cuando terminan en 0 los últimos dos números, así como este 09, entonces se pronuncia 0 como O, así como se los escribí en el chat. 2009. Si fuera 2005, entonces, y lo separamos en dos, ¿cómo sería? 2005, separado en dos números. 2005. 2005. Ahí. Uh -huh. 2005 o 2005, si lo queremos decir. 2005, ajá. 2005 o 2005. 2005 o 2005. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And thank you so much for your participation. Um, as you can see, eh, como pueden ver, es la única forma de que sabemos dónde necesitamos reforzar es con su participación. Les agradezco mucho que han participado con la lectura. Y ahora, de acuerdo a esta lectura, si no hay preguntas, vamos a este. Read the article, tick the true statements for statements that are false, write the true information. Vamos a poner un chequecito. Recuerden que si lo quieren hacer, este material es el que les envié antes de la clase. ¿Dónde está Escape? Me voy a salir de la pantalla completa. 
Eh, por ejemplo, the plastic used in making most credit cards is very safe. ¿Es esto cierto? False. False. Entonces dice que vamos a chequear las, las que son verdaderas. Para las que son falsas, vamos a escribir la información verdad, eh, verdadera. Entonces tenemos que estar así en modo pantalla chiquita. Acuérdense que para poner chequecito le damos donde dice annotate y tenemos stamp, donde están las estampas. Annotate, stamp y ahí aparece el chequecito. Aquí le damos. Pero ahorita vamos a cerrarlos y aquí tendríamos que escribir la información eh, verdadera. Aquí dice the plastic used in making most freight card is very safe, que decía el article. Six period annually, the number. How safe is the plastic used to, miss, to make this car? Most cars are made uh, from plastic called polyminium. And it says polyminium chloride. It's PVC. Mm -hmm. So you can say, uh, okay, aquí dice que es safe, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos poner lo que dice acá. Uh, they are made of a PVC that is harmful. It has harmful chemicals and are released into the atmosphere. Ahí pueden componer su respuesta usando la información de acá y pues poniéndole también sus propias palabras. Is this clear? I think that we can work on this in groups. Lo podemos hacer en grupo o lo hacemos en la sección principal. Creo que en la sección principal tengo varios oyentes el día de ahora también que no podrían unirse a los grupos. Entonces yo le voy a compartir esto, la lectura. Y ustedes pueden estar eh, viendo esta pantallita y modificándola en su, eh, en su material que les envié. Para que no estén como que no pueden estar viajando entre estas dos diapositivas que vamos a trabajar en la 3 y la 4. Voy a estar compartiéndoles yo la lectura y ustedes trabajan en eh, las oraciones. Chequear las que son verdaderas. Y si son falsas, hay que escribir la información verdadera de acuerdo al artículo. Okay. I'm going to be sharing this side of the screen. And you have to check these sentences. Oh. I'll give you time and let me know when you are done with this exercise. Dice, las preguntas las, las, las copió ahí el WhatsApp. Las eh, comparten en el WhatsApp, las preguntas. Es una presentación, dice module. Module. ¿Por qué dice? Ahorita le pego como dice. Eh, in, module in 2 PPTX. Lo que les mandé antes de la clase, dice sí, módulo sí, intermedio 2. Sí, Módulo intermedio 2, PPT. Ah, ok. Gracias.
Have you finished? Hello, teacher. I have any answer. You don't have any answer? Or you yes. have the... I finished. Oh, Are you finished? Yeah, but I don't know if it, it is okay. Yes. For example, uh, would you like number... to share or uh, you work on your notebook? You work in my notebook. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the number one, I think, is false. Yes, it is false. What is the correct information? Uh, according to the article. Uh mm -hmm. Because the a uh, plastic car is not a biodegradable. Biodegradable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So number two is false. Um, according to the article, plastic cars are not biodegradable over time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, correct. That is correct. Number two, paper cars are expensive because they. Uh, biodegrade very easily. That is true. Uh huh. And they have to be like replacing and replacing and then replacing them. Yes, yeah. that's true. Number four. Research Number shows four. that wood and metal are good materials for making cars. It's false. It's false. What is the correct information? Uh huh. Number four, yes, it's false. And what is the correct information? Let me see. Uh, because uh, 
are very are very expensive for um because they they have to use uh, natural resources to approve or use the mm -hmm. or use the, the, the this card. Uh huh. That one's made of wood. Yes, um, it would be uh, to make um, use of natural resources. And about the metal one, people said that is dangerous, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Metal is dangerous, so yes, it's no good material. Very good. Now, some materials come. Some companies have issued cards made of polylactic acid. It's true. That is true. Yes, that one is true. And number six, there are no problems with these new cards. False. False. Uh huh. What is the correct information? Because uh, many people are hungry because it's wrong to use a food crop and turn it to into plastic. Yes, it's true. Yes, that's. Uh, that's basically the exercise about. You did an excellent job analyzing um, the reading and providing us the answer. Thank you so much for your participation. Now, before moving to the next exercise, I'm going to check attendance. Let's uh, say present as soon as you hear your name. Let's just start with Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Okay. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Thank you, Cecia. Um, Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carson Alexis. Person Alexis. Gertrudis Aymara. Present teacher. Hazel Panesa. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivania. Luis Javier. Magdiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Marilyn. Thank you, Yulisa. Yeah, me orquista, Yulisa. Yeah. Okay. Desea Abigail, Mejia, and Yulisa. Okay. okay. Let's continue with Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Um, Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, 
Samuel Antonio. Santa es Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé. Present. Present Thank teacher. Victor. Thank you. Okay. Um, let me continue sharing. Okay, you will find the next exercise on your uh, PDF on page 37. And in the previous days, we were talking about um, assessing risk, risk at the workplace. And uh, we have a short paragraph here. The exercise is to underline the passive voice sentences. And this is the paragraph. Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. I wonder if she has, if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Hopefully, the new employee has been taught to follow the rules by the book. Teacher disorganized, así, o, o se pronuncia de otra forma. Disorganized. Disorganized, ok. Mm -hmm. We need to underline uh, the sentences in passive voice. Have you identified the first sentence in passive voice? Yeah, teacher. Uh huh. What many is it? Tool, many tool hopping. Oh, mm -hmm. one second. Sorry. Se desapareció la pantalla, teacher. Many tool hopping left. Disorganized. Many tools have been disorganized. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So let me see if I can. I don't know why. Give me one second. Vamos a ver por qué se dejó de compartir. Okay. Well, let me start sharing again. Can you see the screen now? Le decía teacher, hope is full, hope is full. Hopeful. Hopeful, sin, sin, sin pronunciar la P y la E, hopeful. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh -huh. Bueno, prácticamente la E, esa es la que no se pronunciaría. Mm, yes. Hopeful. Hopefully, oh, hopeful, nana. Hopefully. Hopefully, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my dear said that the first sentence is, uh, uh, in the passive point is, many tools have been left disorganized. Yes, hasta aquí llegaría la primera. Many tools have been left disorganized. That is the first one. Thank you, Martian. What is the next sentence in the passive voice? Next one. Any volunteer? Martial said many tools have been left disorganized. 
That is the first passive voice sentence. I'll, um, the second one could be the safety manager has has not been informed mm -hmm. about uh -huh. the new safety measures. Excellent. That's correct. Uh, the news, the manager, it says the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measure. Very good. Is there any other sentence in the passive file? Can you find another sentence in the passive voice? There is one more. The new, the new employees have been doubt to follow the, rule, the rules with the book. By, by the, the book. book. Excellent, Carla. Thank you so much. That is the last one. The new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. Excellent job. And yes, we have three sentences in the passive voice in this exercise. Now. In the next slide, let's see. Uh, we have another exercise. Yes, this is stuck now. Okay, here it is. Okay, this is also in page 37 of your material. And this is a group work exercise. We're going to choose one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lesson. You remember that we were talking about chemicals, okay? Um, um, also, what other uh, hazards do you remember that we were talking about? A slippery surfaces or a slippery flow. So another was, um, Open drawers. Any other that you remember? Um, scatter tools around the working area. Mm -hmm. So based on that, you're going to brainstorm ideas on how to prevent accidents related to a particular hazard and design a poster featuring the three safety measures as we see here. Is, you have one example here. It says attention, new safety measures to prevent falls, slip and trips. Remember to store all the tools in proper location when not used. Keep all tools clean and in good working condition. Number three, wear all safety gear while you are in this area. So the first thing is to identify the most criti critical hazard. Once that you have it, you can design the poster with three safety measures. What do you think is the, the, the most like a critical hazard at the workplace? It depends, right? It depends. And uh, for most people that work in office, maybe it is uh, related to um, to fall, sleep, and trips. So for example, it can be a uh, wet floor, uneven uh, floor, or loose tiles. 
So you can recommend maybe to um, wear appropriate shoes. Be careful when you see a wet floor sign on. Mm -hmm. So yes, you need to um, discuss about the most critical hazard that you identify or you, you think it is the most common cause of accidents at the workplace. And based on that, you design a chart like this one with three safety rules. Is this uh, exercise clear? Well, this is in group and uh, if you need to use the browser, you can do it. So if you don't remember the hazards that we were discussing about, you can look for um, maybe to have ideas. You can use the browser about the most critical hazards at the workplace. And based on that, you design your chart. Uh, let me stop sharing. I will go ahead and create the breakout room so that you can work on your chart. Hello, foreigners. Hi. Hello, Magdiel. Hello, hello. Did you know what are you going to do? Okay, yes. Um, well, I explained that you're going to make a chart like the one that you have on page, let me share a screen with you, uh, like the one that you have in page 37. Okay, like this one, attention, new safety measures to prevent fall, slips and trips. But after that, Oh, okay, sorry, before that, you have to identify like the most critical hazard. Um, what do you think is the most critical hazard at the workplace? If you don't remember the ones that we studied in the previous lesson, you awesome. can uh, go to Google and check, right? Okay. Here is the okay, article that. that we read. Uh, 10 top workplace hazards and how to prevent them. Entonces, aquí básicamente tendría claro, el trabajo claro. hecho. Eh, primero sería ver las amenazas, identificar como la, para ustedes cuál es la, la, la más eh, fuerte, la más común, digamos. Tenemos fall, uh, falls from work at Hide and falling objects, machinery malfunction, electrical, fire, confined space, 
physical, ergonomic, chemical, biological, noise. ¿Cuáles de ustedes creen que es la peor de las amenazas en el trabajo de estas que mencionamos aquí? Maybe electrical or fire. Tal vez decir que la una electrical or fire podría ser de las eh, amenazas más eh, recurrentes, ¿verdad? En un ambiente laboral, una amenaza eléctrica, eh, shocks from light wires en mal malfunctioning equipment can happen with no warning and can easily be fatal. The urgency of a danger of electrical hazard underline the importance of taking the appropriate preventive measure. Tips on how to prevent electrical injuries. Okay. Maintain electrical installations replacing damaged cables and appliances immediately. Entonces, have electrical appliances inspected and rectified according to legislation and manufacturer instructions. Okay. Entonces, si escogemos la electrical hazard basados en eso, eh, vamos a hacer este cartel. ¿Qué podrían poner en la safety measure si escogemos la electrical hazard? ¿Qué medidas de seguridad pondríamos en este cartel? Maybe to report, reportar cualquier eh, cable eh, o, o este, um, ¿cómo se llama? Me, cualquier cable o dispositivo en mal estado podría ser uno. New safety rules number to prevent electrical shocks or hazard or injuries. Number one, report any power cord or electrical in, uh, installations or devices on, in bad conditions or malfunctioning. Podría ser la primera regla preventiva. Y así diseñan un cartelito de, dependiendo de la amenaza que hayan identificado. Voy a dejar de compartir y como les dije pueden apoyarse de su navegador eh, para buscar y seleccionar alguna amenaza y tal vez ayudarse un poquito con el vocabulario que van a ocupar para eh, las medidas preventivas. Ok, I will stop sharing and if somebody else in the group want to share, you can go ahead and do it. Okay. Would you mind sharing the link again, teacher, please? Yes, I'm going to share a couple of them. Okay. Um, how to manage, carry on, appropriate risk assessment, yes. What's right next? Mm. 
I found this one, I think it can help you. Um. Okay, there you have one. Okay, I already shared them in the meeting chat. I shared two. Les compartí dos. El primero tiene bastante información. Me gusta más que el, el que les proyecté acá. El que les mostré aquí hace unos minutos es el segundo link. I'm going to say the first one. It's better.
I think this one is very interesting, like poor housekeeping. Uh, clutter blocking fire access. Poor housekeeping is related to the messy working areas. Es un problema bien común que las eh, estaciones de trabajo estén desordenadas. Eh, Y con eso empieza esta parte, clutter blocking. Es clutter blocking, es eh, desorden bloqueando las eh, salidas contra incendio, las salidas por incendio. Y yes. el desorden puede ser eh, una causa de algún accidente fatal o una amenaza, ¿verdad? Que estén bloqueadas las salidas de emergencia debido al desorden. Por eso es clutter blocking. Uh, I will take this one. I lo, an, an emergency exit is a housekeeping problem that George was facing. Okay, another common problem. Overstacking, load and racks in a warehouse. Uh -huh. También el sobre stacking. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle hill, which can be made to sprinkle. Alexis and the water. And contribute to sleep. Uh -huh. También por el pobre mantenimiento pueden tener um, like uh, fuga de agua. Lakes or standing water can also contribute to sleep trip and falls. Workers, this is very important. Shouldn't wait for housekeeping or sanitation crews to take care of the of these issues. Okay. Instead, they should clean as they go. Uh -huh. Esta podría ser una recomendación para el chart. Uh, clean your working areas. Keep your working areas clean. Podría ser alguna. Keep your working areas clean. Mm -hmm. Clean up spills as limpiar los derrames, ya sea de cualquier cosa, de café o lo que sea. Podría ser reportar cualquier fuga de agua o cualquier eh, líquido que pueda uh, contribuir a una potencial caída. So I would take this one. Es en el número, en el primer link que les mandé. Pero cada quien decide ahí cómo. O en el grupo, no sé cómo van a decidir trabajar. Or if you're going to work individually, that's okay too.
Hello, teacher. <clears throat> yes. Is this is this okay, teacher? I chose the working at height. Okay, so you selected working at height. Yes. Mm -hmm. To prevent falls, trip and trip. Remember to use safety harness, use helmet, helmet, and to be trained to work in height. Mm -hmm. Okay. To okay. To be trained to work. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Remember that if it is infinitive, si usamos el to más verbo, el verbo va eh, simple, to work. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y si es una preposición, podríamos ponerlo for working. Yes. Ahí la mejor es así. To be trained to work at hates. At hates, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, at, se lo podía dejar el at. Yes, separado. Okay. And yes, excellent. Well done. Um, anybody else? Only Matiel finished. <laughs> You work for the group today. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. I guess that the rest is just joining for listening purposes. So I'm going to close the segment here. See you in the main yeah. room. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, we're back again. Thank you so much for your uh, participation in the previous activity. Is there someone who would like to share something about the chart that you work? Okay, I only got one example of a chart. And it was a very, very good example. Thank you so much for your participation in the breakup room. If nobody else would like to share, we're going to continue. Okay, to continue with our topic of the passive voice, we have this article in the presentation. It's about saving a coral reef. And um, we're going to be practicing pronunciation and maybe getting some new vocabulary. So let's read the article. A volunteer to read the first part. Nowadays, volunteer Aymara, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Nowadays, uh, there seems to be so much bad news about the environment scientists. Yes. Env environment scientists have predicted all kind of alarming ecology, ecology, I know, ecological uh, typing point. There, these are times when, for some reason, big Big change happen suddenly. Suddenly. Such, suddenly. 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 Such as when farmland turns to desert due to climate change. But do type 
typing points inevitably go in the wrong direction? Thank you so much, Aymara. Um, volunteer to continue, Apple Island. Hey, teachers. Thank you, Mario. Mm -hmm. Apo Islands is nine kilometers of the coast of Negros in the Philippines, an area rise received in coral reef until the fifties. Yes. Fifties. Yes. Local fishermen use uses traditional fishing met methods, and there were always lots of the fish in the islands, islands reef. Then the fishermen adopted new techniques. They use, use explosives to scare the fish out of the dead hiding, hiding places. Yeah, yeah, needed to poison the fish. And the nets to the cast even very small fish. As a, as a result, they caught more fish. So they increased the use of the techniques. Then there was a tipping point almost the fish in the reef. So the fishermen had to go further out to sea to find enough fish. Thank you so much, Maria. Very good. Uh, volunteer to continue in the 80s. Volunteer. No volunteers. Okay, I will read in the 80s, Dr. Angel. Alcala, a marine scientist, visited Apo Island to help the fishermen solve the problem. One way to reverse the tipping point, he explained, was to create a no fishing zone. The fishermen decided that almost 10% of the island's reef should become a sanctuary. After three years, the sanctuary was full of fish and the fishermen were able to catch a lot of fish, fish near its edge. The fishermen were so impressed by this positive echo tapping point that they decided to stop all destructive fishing methods around the entire island. This ecological lesson is now part of a curriculum in the local school and income from tourism. It's used to fund scholarship for local students to study marine ecosystem management. Moreover, Apple Island has become a model fishing community. 700 villages in the Philippines now are marine sanctuaries. Okay, now do you have this reading? we can complete the next exercise. Based on this, we're going to be reading and completing the chart with information from the article. Uh, first, in the blue side, we have the negative echo typing point. And then in the other side, in the purple part, we have the positive uh, typing point. For the negative, we have local fishermen adopted destructive fishing methods in the reef. They increased the use of destructive fishing method and the fishermen had to go out to see to find enough fish. Then in the positive side, we have uh, the fishermen created a fish sanctuary in the reef the fishermen could find enough fish in the reef and marine ecosystem management was included in education. Now, you have to list two more negative 
tipping point and two positive ones. You can find them in the rim. Um, so we have three for each one. So you have to find the other two in each side. Remember the information is here. So you can uh, complete with the two negative and two positives. You can write them in your notebook or you can work here in the PowerPoint.
Are you ready? En la número uno de las negativas sería eh, de use explosive explosives to scare to fish, to scare the fish out of the tape. It implies they are needed to poison the fish and giant nets to catch even very small fish. Excellent. That was one of the negative. Uh, keeping point is the use of explosives. Uh -huh. So very good, Mario, excellent. Do you have another negative echo keeping point? Or maybe a positive? Uh, do you have any other negative tipping point? You gave us one, it's excellent. Do you have another? The second negative? And the other serie quizás is the... So the fisherman had to go to for, for out to sea to find enough fish. Yes, that's good one. And positives, do you have any positive tipping point? Positive. positive. And a positive say, uh, uh, after three years, the sanctuary was full of, of fish, and the fishermen were uh, able to cast lots of fish near its edge. Excellent. Well done, Maria. Do you have the second one? Or only one? The ultimate is.
Then you have the second one or anybody else can help Mario. Alguien más que pueda ayudar a Mario. Ok. Esa no la, no la he asimilado todavía. Este... That could be about the income from tourism that they are getting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Income from tourism. It's used to fund scholarships for yes. local students. I see, that's a lot of questions. <laughs> that's a one. Okay, thank you so much for your participation, everybody. I hope that you sleep well and see you tomorrow. See you Bye. tomorrow, Bye. Thank you.